Hello guys, welcome to a new Blender tutorial. Today we will make some customization on the 2D animation startup file. Before we start, please check my Gumroad in the description. There are some free files there and some paid ones. Every file there is connected to a tutorial on this channel. So you can follow the tutorial and make your own stuff. And also you can buy some stuff from Gumroad to support this channel for making more free content here. Thank you very much. To start, let's open a 2D animation file from here or from here, file new 2D animation. You can change a lot of stuff here for your convenience and then make it the default 2D startup file. But before we start, there is one important thing, one behavior in Blender that I don't like. So let's demonstrate this. Let's draw this cloud here. Let's draw a smiling cloud okay so let's say that i finished drawing and now i go to edit mode and want to do some edits here maybe move this guy like this and maybe hit alt s to make the stroke thicker here and then go to the rendering panel and hit f12 for a quick render hmm let's go again to finish the edit and you see that we are back automatically to draw mode and i have to switch again to edit mode to finish my edit i thought first that it was a bug or maybe a setting that was hidden so i asked a question in the blender chat so i got a reply from just why he said right now that's expected each workspace has a default mode that it will attempt to switch to the 2d animation workspace is set to the grease pencil draw mode and he said also you can change the default mode but you can set it to something like none that said it will just happen to work if you set the default to the animation workspace mode to object mode so that helped a lot indeed there is a buried setting and we will see it now so let's open first a new to the animation startup file without the cloud do not save and now we will change that behavior so to change the default mode we will either have to go here under active tool and workspace settings and go all to the bottom to workspace and here the default mode we change it to object mode the same thing happens in this tab to or this workspace to the full canvas so let's go there and now we use another method to change the default mode we hit n here we go here to tool and all to the bottom workspace and we change grease pencil to object mode very nice hit n again to hide this panel and now if we switch to edit mode we go to rendering back to 2d for canvas it is in edit mode to 2d animation it is also in edit mode we change here in object mode go here it is object mode go to render back again it is object mode we change to draw mode it is draw mode here too to rendering and back we are still in draw mode so we keep our uh, last used mode and that is great for my needs i don't know maybe for your needs you need blender to switch back every time to draw mode i don't need that i don't like that so now let's make more changes the first thing is we are in camera view but we can't see the border of our camera i like to see the border of my camera so i can know where to draw another change i like the stretched most of the time to be one so i set this to one i don't like the radius of 20 it's too thin for my liking so i change this to 50 especially when i use a drawing tablet a graphic tablet the line is too thin another important very important change we can import download our texture brush pack to be able to do this of course you will need to go to preferences enable your green pencil tools add-on so let's download our brushes so imagine if you don't have an internet connection so now you have them already in your startup file also we go here and the render properties and to color management and we like to change the view transform to standard it is already standard and the look to medium high contrast this will give us more vibrant colors 
Now we can go to edit mode and in the curve editing options, we disable adaptive resolution and change this to eight. I always use these settings in my projects and also in my tutorials. And also if you go to the layers here, you can also disable lights. I always disable lights for my layers. So there is one thing to keep in mind here that not all the defaults can be changed because if we add another layer here, you see that it has used lights. So we'll have again to disable this guy here. I wish in the future that we'll be also able to change these defaults. Also, if you create a new grease pencil object, these settings won't be like this. They will be the default settings 32 and adaptive resolution activated. So you'll have again also to change these settings but let's see the bright side we already changed a lot of settings and made our life a lot easier so i guess this is it let's delete this layer let's go back to draw mode also and now we can save our startup file so we go here to file and to defaults and save startup file you see there is a header here to the animation that means that we will save the 2d animation startup file we left click here and then to confirm we click again and now we have a customized startup file for our 2d art to test if our changes were saved or not open a new general file do not save since we are here let's change the color profile here i like to have the same color profile so make it standard and the look to medium high contrast because imagine that you are making a mixed animation with 3d objects and 2d objects you may create a grease pencil object in the 2d animation startup file and then append that file to a general file if you have different color profiles the colors of your objects won't look the same in the general file so that's why we changed also these settings here and we will go to file to defaults and we save the startup file so save startup file again confirm and now we go back to our 2d animation do not save and voila we have the settings that we saved to edit mode you see curve editing eight no adaptive resolution everything was saved and that is great isn't it and the brushes yes here are our brushes already there no need to download them now just one last thing suppose that you don't like your changes maybe you made some mistakes and you want to revert back to your default startup file there is a button here under default just besides the save startup file that's why it can be misleading so this button here is a trap don't click it because it won't only reset your startup file it will reset all your blender settings so if you change any settings here any settings in the preferences if you activated some add-ons if you changed something in the interface for example the resolution scale i changed it to 130 so that the text is big and you can see it easily on youtube you lose every customization you've made since you've started using blender so don't use this button here to reset your startup file you go here to this folder so users your username app data roaming blender foundation blender your version of blender and then config and here you should delete this folder for the 2d animation startup file and this file here for the general startup file that's it delete these two files and they will revert to their default thank you for watching and see you in another video peace